Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite YouTuber. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the formula that has permanently changed my life into a movie. I use this practice every single day. I have been using it for the past two years now and it has completely revolutionized my life. I mean, I went from working a nine to five, not having this channel be as big as it is right now, to blowing up, creating my own business, traveling all over Europe with the love of my life for three months, moving in with the love of my life, traveling the entire world this year, growing my channel and my business, tripling my income, developing amazing deep connections with people and family members and pets, and receiving an infinite amount of opportunities, mostly because of this one formula. But before we get into that, you are more than welcome to subscribe on this channel and talk about all things law of assumption, so if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. I also want to thank Keen for sponsoring today's video. Keen connects you with talented tarot readers and astrologers that provide you with a deeper understanding of your personal situation. I always love using tarot cards and Keen because it helps me gauge on whether or not I'm on the right track with my manifestations and whether or not I'm in the right state. These readers have unique specialties designed to help you with your specific situation. Do you want to know if your subconscious mind is reflecting your desired reality. Do you want to know based on your current state and techniques whether or not they'll reach out? For example, if you want your mans to propose to you and you ask a keen reader whether it's going to happen this year and they tell you no, that means that you are in the current state where your partner is not going to propose to you. So you are using that as a reminder to pivot your subconscious mind and the way that you think in order to change it into the reality that you do want. The reality that you do want is my partner has proposed to me we are in a happy marriage so we are picking techniques after that point to saturate our mind i can't be bothered always checking my 3d to see if my manifestation is on the way and it's so much easier and faster to ask these specialized astrologers because they will instantly tell you whether or not you are on the right track or whether you need to pivot and change your energy Dean has a reader at the ready for you and the thing is you are in control you have so many readers at your fingertips ready to connect via phone call or messages instantly go to trykeen.com slash reader or click on the first link in the description box down below to get your first five minute reading for one dollar the secret formula is this relaxing in every single moment doing what feels best in each moment and doing modes of appreciation i will include a chart that is literally the formula to being in alignment being in the vortex living your best life to put it in simple terms i've spoken about these three things in separate videos in more detail so they will be up in the cards throughout this video but the combination of these three things are really what did it for me and caused a very big change in my life and I continue to use this every single day and it helps me tremendously and it puts me right back onto my highest timeline. Your subconscious mind already knows what you want. I want a million subscribers, right? I do not have to necessarily keep reminding myself of that non-stop. Another alternative, and this is very powerful, you are trusting that you know exactly what it is that you want, so you don't need to keep on affirming I have a million subscribers. Although that does help, please interchange techniques and this formula whenever it feels the best. But if you just strip it all down, what it is, is you're trusting that your subconscious mind is not a dumbass and it knows exactly exactly what it is that you want so it is about trusting in that and trusting in yourself that is an aspect of self-concept as well just trusting in yourself and not questioning whether or not you need to keep reminding your subconscious mind that you want this thing you can't necessarily detach because your desire is a part of you like you have this desire for a reason it is you, you and your desire are one and the same, but you're also not grasping onto it either. At every single moment, whether I am in a good mood or I'm questioning, I'm doubting or I'm in a bad mood or I have anxiety or I'm worrying about something, 
I simply relax. I relax my face muscles. I unclench my jaw. I breathe in deeply and I let it out. And I continue this ongoingly, 24 seven non-stop i relax into my body and if i am doubting or questioning or ruminating or overthinking anything negative and even anything positive it actually doesn't matter because those are all labels like nothing actually has meaning here whatever it may be you are literally just resting into that settling into that thought that feeling whatever it may be that slows down your thought process and the relaxation releases all of your resistance instantly not only does it release resistance but it also releases your desires from being in captivity from yourself because you're too tense you relax and so does your desires and they flood into your life instantly we are not doing this for our desires though we are doing this as a practice all throughout our life whenever we see something in the 3d that we don't like we see ourselves reacting a little bit we are not fighting with it we're not forcing it to go away we are simply just taking that reaction we're bringing it to ourselves and we're just breathing into it we're not thinking our way out of it like i'm safe this isn't true this is a limiting belief what i found from experience is that also causes some sort of a resistance because i'm still talking myself out of it i'm still doing i'm still trying whereas when i literally just breathe into it breathe into it breathe into it it goes away naturally and i find myself leveling up in life because i look back and i'm like this thing actually never held any power over me so whenever something new comes into my life that feels like it's worth reacting over oh no what am i gonna do i lovingly breathe into it in the back of my mind knowing that whatever doesn't feel good is a lie and it goes away by itself and then i again up level because i remember from my previous non-reaction that that bad thing went away by itself i didn't have to do anything and actually i up level. I'll give you an example. I was taking a walk today and I found myself starting to drift between different thoughts like is there any way I can relax even more and I stopped myself, I caught myself and I was like breathe into it because you don't think yourself into being relaxed. You simply just drop everything and when I did that I got an instant inspired thought to buy new business cards for my business and for this YouTube channel because you have no idea how many times I'm in a conversation with someone and they're like what do you do and it just is so easy to whip out business cards and just give it to them so they can have it forever and they have it in writing and they can go on my website and bribe or join a course or a coaching package i had that inspired thought when i release my resistance and i let go of those thoughts of how can i relax and i just relax that's the thing you just have to fucking do it like you just have to breathe like physically breathe into your body i visualize myself my breath going into my body and settling in relaxing my facial muscles relaxing my body and i visualize a clear mind i clear my mind it is very well worth to practice this at the same time number two to this formula is I'm doing what feels the best to me in every single moment. Because once I have set the intention, and you don't even have to do this because your subconscious mind knows what you want. Once I have recognized that as a fact, whatever feels the best for me to do is my higher self literally leading me to that desire. Because your subconscious mind, yourself, your higher self, everything inside of you is working in order for you to get this thing and the signals you get in order to get that thing is through what makes you feel the happiest in each moment for example i had a schedule today and one thing popped up it was my accountant emailing me about my tax returns we do taxes around this time in australia and i actually had scheduled to do the money mentality makeover course by amanda francis where I answer questions, I do the homework, and then I wanted to take a walk. Well, I had this email and I asked myself, what makes me feel the best to do to continue this course or to reply to this email? 
I was actually led and inspired to reply to this email. So I spent an entire hour sending invoices and my bank account transaction details and all of that stuff to him so he can do my taxes. So after that, I felt very productive. I was in a higher vibe. And then I asked myself, what will feel the best for me to do now? I let the money mentality makeover course aside because I was like, it's already getting a little bit later on in the day. Let me walk while the sun is out before school finishes because everyone is just like out on the streets after 3 p.m. I start walking and I listen to this relaxation podcast and I am in an even better mood. And then as I am filming this, I have an urge to, instead of editing like I had planned after this, I want to go outside, sit in the sun while it's still sunny, have a beer and do my money mentality makeover course because I'm super inspired to do that. Because I had my mind like opened up, I did so many other things. Like I created my course outline for the next course that I'm working on right now and I'm so excited about it. And I didn't even plan to do that, but it was just inspired action. So when you are relaxed and you are following what makes you feel the best, it is leading you to your manifestation. You might not want to manifest a million subscribers. You might be wanting to manifest your SP and you're thinking, what does going to have a beer and going on my TikTok have to do with manifesting my SP? You don't know because your mind sees things for what they are right now. Sometimes you just have to trust that your higher self knows what it's doing. It is leading you to your manifestation. You don't know if you see a notification of your SP sending you a meme on TikTok, or you could see literally the funniest, the most perfect TikTok to send to him. And then the conversation starts that way. You don't know how it is going to happen, but just know that through following, what makes you feel the best in each moment is actually leading into your manifestation. That pet off with relaxing is just mind blown. And what I'm about to share the third step in this formula, it just was the cherry on top. It literally just made me feel like I was a superhero. Doing modes of appreciation. So you are relaxing and at the same time, you're doing what makes you feel best in this moment. You are now, as you are doing this thing and relaxing, you are appreciating whatever you are doing. So you are truly recognizing that you are doing this thing and that it feels good. You don't have to overly think about it. Just recognize that it feels good and continue doing it and then relax. For example, I was walking again, the same walk that I did today and I got an iced coffee. After three seconds, I realized that I drank half of it already and I didn't even realize I wasn't even enjoying it. And I was like, oh, I have to do my mode of appreciation. I'm walking in the sun and it feels so good on my skin. I'm so happy that weather is warming up in Australia. We are going into summer. I'm so excited. And I'm drinking this amazing, delicious iced coffee. It actually tastes really nice and strong and I feel the caffeine affecting me. I'm loving listening to this podcast and I'm just so excited about life. You don't have to overdo, you don't have to over milk. You just recognize it and you move on. Why is doing modes of appreciation so important? It's because it hypes you up. You really recognize what you are grateful for in the moment. It puts you in a better mood. It puts you into a higher vibe. You are able to attract everything to you so much faster when you are in a high vibration. And you keep using that cycle, relax, do what feels best, do modes of appreciation, ongoingly and yes it might take some practice i mean i don't feel like i even have perfected this and i have been doing it for about like a year or two adding in different things here and there to the formula but because i have been doing this for two years i have found out what the best thing is and i also just want to say really quickly it, there used to be do not react in this formula but what i have done is i have put the do not react to the 3d into the relaxing category because listen when you relax you are not reacting to the 3d you are literally just breathing in so that's one note on that and with that being said i trust that this video gave you the guidance that you needed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because i know you loved it i hope you have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next video bye everyone